come in the door is the actual Open Meeting Act. If you would, please stand with us, join in a moment of silence, and then as well, we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Continue with roll call. Granquist. Here. Lange. Here. Merrill. Here. Lawson. Here. Muran. Here. Moaning. Here. Faust. Here. File. Here. Okay. <laughs> Under action items here, I would ask for approval of the consent agenda as provided you. I'll make the motion, Your Honor. Second. second. A motion with a second to approve the consent agenda. Please vote. All council members voting in the affirmative. <clears throat> and as well, approval of the full agenda as included in your packet. I'll make the motion, Your Honor. Second. Okay, we have a motion with a second to approve the full agenda. Again, please vote. All council members voting in the affirmative. All right. We're going to go right to a special presentation tonight, swearing in of the newly elected city council members, Corey Granquist, Ward 1, Dave Faust, Ward 2, Rob Merrill, Ward 3, and Shane Clausen, Ward 4. With that, Judge. I ask all the members to come down in front here, please. <laughs> House, and then Corey and Rob Merrill. All right. By the power and authority uh, vested in me by the state of Nebraska, I'll now uh, provide you with your oaths. So at this time, I would ask that you please raise your right hand. I, please state your name. I, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Nebraska and the Constitution of the State of Nebraska against all enemies foreign and domestic against all enemies foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and allegiance to the same that I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or for purpose of evasion, or for purpose of evasion, and that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially perform the duties, perform the duties of the office of, of the office of, and you'll each have to tell. Actually, it'll be either Ward One, Two, or Three, City Council Member, City Council Member, according to the law, according to the law, and to the best of my ability. And I do further swear that I do not advocate, nor am I a member of any political party or organization that advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or of this state by force or violence. And that during such time, that during such time as, I am in this position, as I am in this position, I will not advocate, I will not advocate nor become a member, nor become a member of, any political party, of any political party or organization, or organization that, advocates that advocates the overthrow of the government, the of, the government of the United States, the United States or of this state. Or of this state by force, or violence. by force or violence. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Welcome. All right. I'll have you each, if you would please. I don't know if you have pens. This is yours, I believe. I'll have you sign that.
go. And again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge. You may be excused. Thanks for being here. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. Well, since we're in the mode of this council, um, it's up to this council to make a choice of president for the next couple years. Your Honor, as acting president, I would like to relinquish my presidency and nominate uh, Jim Lange as president for the next two years. Second that. Okay. Are there any other nominations? I make the motion nomination cease. Second that. All right, we have with a second, it looks like we're ready to vote on these suggested. Please do so. All council members voting in the affirmative. Congratulations. Well, yeah. Short and sweet. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate that. Your Honor, Jim did mention he would like you to take a lot of vacations the next couple Is that what he? <laughs> Great. Well, we'll let him know where I'm going to be gone for a couple months in Jan January. As long as there are a lot of special presentations. <laughs> <laughs> well, Councilman, we appreciate your serving for the last two years, too. So thank you. I know you did fill in quite a few times and some of those uh, little opportunities to go out there and meet with, with some of the young people as well as some of those older folks. It's, it was all good, so it's, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. You bet. All right, let's move right on to the regular agenda and we're looking at here consideration of approval of amendment number two to the engineering services contract with Kirkman Michael and Associates for the Southwest Sanitary, Sanitary Sewer Interceptor Project resulting in an additional fee of $50,068 for a new contract amount not to exceed $393,376 for design, right-of-way acquisition, and full-time construction services. Do I have a motion for consideration of? I'll, I'll make, make the motion, Your Honor. Second. All right, we do have a motion with a second, and we have Mark before us that's gonna lead the discussion, I assume. Yep. Uh, basically, um, originally for this contract, uh, we were anticipating part-time inspection um, for this project and as we were hoping to piggyback with another project or two unfortunately those project schedules um, didn't stay in line with each other and so um, you know one of the main reasons for this increase would be for its full-time inspection on one project um, <clears throat> the other thing that would probably contributed a lot to this uh, uh, need for the amendment is to create competitive bidding um, we allowed the uh, contractor to do a split construction season so instead of having them complete it all in 2014 or all in 2015, we allowed them to split it over the fall of 14 and spring of 15, which adds a really a couple more months to the project because um, you have less working days over the winter and you're moving a little slower. So um, between those two items, those are kind of the two main items that contributed to this. <coughs> I'd be happy to answer any additional questions. Council, any questions for Mark? Okay, seeing none. Appreciate it. All right. Any further discussion by this council at all? If not, please vote. All council members voting in the affirmative. Motion carries. <coughs> all right. Next would be consideration of approval of ordinance number 5332, creating mm -hmm. sanitary sewer extension district number 247. <coughs> Providing for the construction of polyvinyl chloride pipe along the lift station manholes and other necessary items for the area generally located along U.S. Highway 81 from the Elkhorn River South to Sherwood Road and on North Airport Road from U.S. Highway 81 West, approximately one half mile, and on Sherwood Road from U.S. Highway 81 East, approximately one half mile, and on Bonita Drive, which is 550 feet south of the intersection of North Airport Road and U.S. Highway 81 East, one half mile to the center of Section 3. Your Honor, I'd move consideration of ordinance number 5332 on first reading. Second. Okay. We have a motion with a second. Mark. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, as this, uh, as the um, ordinance uh, notes, this is basically taking sewer south of the river along the Highway 81 corridor. Um, this is a project that will get sewer to North Airport Road, over to the uh, National Guard Armory, to Covidian, 
um, in all the businesses along 81 and then also east on Sherwood Road and then Bonita to serve the trailer court down there. Um, this project we've been working on with Black and Veatch uh, the past year or so. We did have a public meeting back in January with the uh, the property owners, you know, kind of letting them know this is coming down the pike and and uh, so most of them are aware of this project um, come down. So be happy to answer any questions as it relates to this. Okay. Mark, I had a couple of questions. Um, one was I've had people call me and ask me if this the roads will be tore up for a long period of time during the construction process. On this project itself, um, the only road, Highway 81 should be clear because we're going to be boring underneath Highway 81. Okay. The frontage roads, um, we require the, the contractor to maintain access to all the businesses. Um, one road that will be congested would be Bonita, uh, which is that private road that gets to the trailer court. That one will be congested because it's a narrow corridor. We're going to have to be going down that. Mm -hmm. So that one will have some closures, um, but I believe we're going to have to maintain access to, to serve the trailer court. Um, the Sherwood Road, Dennis, do you recall if we are closing down both lanes or closing down one lane? Or I do not recall on that one, but. The sewer line's actually gonna be in the south shoulder. Um, we'll probably maintain local traffic, but it'll be somewhat like uh, uh, Monroe right now that it <clears throat> may be best that most people stay away from it. Yeah. Uh, and that was the concerns I had. It was just if there was gonna be access the people could get in and out the yeah, local people there should be access yeah there should be local access it you know any construction project and will okay. cause disruptions but we'll try to minimize them as much as we can sure all right thank you mark what's the timeline <coughs> uh basically we would probably be looking to bid it this winter and then construction next start next spring summer and completion by the end of next construction season Okay, any other questions? By next construction season, you mean 15 or 16? 15. 15. End of, end of 15. That was, that's been our, our goal the whole time. Anything else, Council? I guess not so much a question as I'm glad to see we're, we've made it to this stage and moving further along because this is something that's been in the works or been talked about and discussed since I've been on the Council, so. Well, you know, I agree with you, Councilman. I've learned more about lift stations and sewer and it, than I ever thought I would need to know. So Close very glad to see it moving forward. Right. <laughs> Any, anyone else? And you move, so don't affect you. <laughs> Mark, I think you're free to sit down. All right. <clears throat> okay, if no further discussion, Council, we'll let Beth read a short title for us. An ordinance creating sanitary sewer extension district number 247 in the city or within the extraterritorial zoning jurisdiction of the city of Norfolk, Nebraska, establishing the outer boundaries of the district, <coughs> designing the size, location, and terminal points, referring to the plan specifications and engineer's estimate in connection therewith, and to provide when this ordinance shall be in full force and effect, and to provide for publication of this ordinance in pamphlet form. <coughs> All right, please vote. <coughs> All councilmen voting in the affirmative. <coughs> Ordinance 5332 carries on first reading. <coughs> Your Honor, I move that we suspend the rules and pass Ordinance number 5332 on second and third reading as. Second. Uh, again, we've worked on it for a long time. Okay, we have a motion with a second to suspend the rules and pass Ordinance number 5332 on second and third. <coughs> Any further discussion? If not, please vote. All council members voting in the affirmative. Ordinance 5332 carries on second and third. Okay. With that, seeing nothing further on the agenda, we're adjourned. <laughs>